When moving the mouse cursor over the layers in the viewer, flashes appear based on its position. These flashes appear when coming into contact with the layer's pixels, indicating which layer will be selected if we click with the left mouse button. Autograph actually creates a selection map based on pixel transparency. Although some pixels are transparent, like those around the basketball, they do exist and in some software, they can block your selection. To visualize these transparent pixels, let's double click on the basketball in the project panel to display it in the viewer. There's a button with a checkerboard pattern at the bottom of the viewer. If you click on it, the transparent pixels will be represented with this checkerboard pattern. In the software settings, accessible via the gear icon in the upper right, you have options for customizing this checkerboard. So you can change its size and the two colors that make up the pattern. It's important to keep in mind that even though these pixels are transparent and you can't see them, they're an integral part of the image within the bounds of its bounding box. This bounding box is visible when selecting a layer. As you can see, a blue bounding box appears when hovering the mouse cursor in the viewer. The size of this bounding box is defined by the width and height in pixels that make up the image. So even though the pixels are transparent, they're still part of the image. In some software applications, clicking on these pixels can prevent you from selecting the background, but Autograph creates a selection map based on this transparency which allows you to click through these transparent pixels. Toward the end of this video, we'll go over another selection method that relies on bounding boxes instead of on the transparent pixels of each layer. By default, the Selection Hints Overlay mode displays these flashes when hovering over a layer, which lets you know in advance whether you're selecting the foreground or the background. Overlays are elements the viewer adds over the image but they're not directly part of the image. These options are available at the top of the viewer. If you disable the Enable 2D Selection Hints option, you won't see the flashes in the viewer when you hover your mouse cursor over elements. But hovering your cursor still highlights the layers in the layer stack to preview which layer will be selected. This allows you to closely follow the contours of the basketball's transparency to select either the basketball itself or the background pixels. When selecting a layer that has transparent pixels, there's a yellow contour that appears based on its silhouette. This yellow contour is also an overlay. To disable it, just uncheck Enable 2D Selection Contour. You can see that the button for accessing these options went from white to green to indicate that certain overlays have been disabled. You can re-enable these elements to bring back the flashes and yellow contours. For now, let's disable these two types of overlays to focus on the visual content of each layer. Autograph offers several tools to bring a layer back to its original transform settings. Let's start by selecting the basketball court, either in the viewer or in the timeline. The icon at the top of the viewer representing two rotating arrows allows you to reset certain transform parameters to their default values. Position is the first parameter that can be reset. By moving this layer to the left while keeping it selected and clicking on this button, the layer will go back to its initial position, just like when we first dragged it into the composition. Why was only the position parameter reset? Well, right next to this reset button, there's another button that contains a list of all the transform parameters. Right now, only the position parameter is affected by a reset. We'll see later that this list is also used by the animation keyframe creation button. If we modify other transform parameters for this layer, like its scale or rotation, Clicking on the Reset button will only reset the position parameter. To reset more parameters, let's go into this list 
and press the Control key on PC or Command key on Mac to enable other transform parameters for this reset. Before clicking on the Reset button again, select the layer or layers you want to reset for position, rotation, and scale. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with this feature. It'll allow you to quickly reset certain transform parameters based on elements enabled on this list. In the same way, we can reset the position parameters for the layer containing the basketball. Lastly, we mentioned at the beginning of this video that layer selection can be based on pixel transparency. By placing the mouse cursor close to the basketball, even though the pixels underneath are transparent but still exist within the image frame, it's possible to click through these transparent pixels to select the background. But it's also possible for the selection process to be based on the entirety of the bounding box. The default option allows for clicking through transparent pixels based on the alpha channel but you can also choose to base the selection on the bounding box. By selecting this option, transparent pixels around the basketball will now block the selection. Any pixel that you click on inside of this blue frame will define the basketball as the selected layer. So you can base your selection on what is visually displayed in the viewer or on all pixels contained by a layer, whether or not they're transparent. In this video, we went over how to inspect transparent pixels in an image, show or hide certain overlays, and reset certain transform parameters.